Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my May favorite. My intros to my videos are not going to be six minutes long anymore, so I know everyone probably fast forwards my intros anyway, so I'm just going to get right into the favorites right now. Bet you didn't think I would do that, huh? Favorite is this um, beauty blender. I absolutely love, love, love this. Remember, I wanted to try this a long time ago, and I picked up the Sonia Kashuk one, which is this dirty blue thing, and I heard that they were like similar to each other, so I picked it up, and I didn't really like this, but then I just heard a lot about this, and I decided to try it, and I have been loving it. Literally, I cannot tell you anything besides this is completely 100% worth it. Um, I personally do not think that these are that similar. Um, a lot of people do. I actually don't at all. They are clearly a different shape. Um, and this has like, I don't know, like a dense inside. I don't, I don't really know, but if you squeeze them like right now, um, this feels completely different. So I know a lot of people say there are dupes. Um, I, dupes can be subjective to certain people. I personally do not think that this is um, a dupe for this. This is about, I got two for 20 at a store near my house. I think one of them is like, I don't know, $18 or something. It is kind of pricey, but um, it's definitely, definitely worth it. In my opinion, I can do a whole review on this if you guys want to see, even though I kind of just did, because I love this. Um, I use it wet, and it just makes my skin absorb, absorb moisture so much better, and just it looks healthier. Like, I can see a complete difference when using this product, so um, this is definitely a favorite of this month. Okay, next, moving on, is my Kiss Lash Glue, and it just looks like this. Mine's, like, really, really dirty think there's nasty glue all over it um this was one of my favorites I think a long time ago I love it for putting on my false lashes um I know that the duo lash adhesive is pretty popular and believe it or not this has replaced the duo lash adhesive for me I used to use this all the time I tried this once and I was like oh I really like it and then I kept using this and I just realized I was becoming addicted to it and then I tried this recently because I couldn't find this and I just struggled like first of all this smells like an absolute seaport so that's just the first negative for me um I, I just I don't like it at all and uh, it doesn't work as well I honestly find out find that this works a lot better and the best part about this is that it is latex free so in case you're allergic to latex or anything like that um you're good to go with this I'll be honest with you guys it doesn't smell delicious it smells sort of like um glue or some arts and crafts supplies or something but anything to me beats fish. This smells, I don't know, I don't know if any of you guys agree with me, I think I've heard people agree, this smells like a straight up dead fish that you pull off a hook with the bait and you're on a boat. This is what it smells like whenever I put it near my eye. I know, kind of disgusting and it's just not worth it to me. This is like, I think five dollars, this is like four, um, yeah, so no difference for me. But I love this glue. If you guys can pick it up, I only found it in Walgreens. I haven't found it anywhere else. So if you guys see this in your local Walgreens, definitely, definitely pick it up or fling it across your makeup station. Awesome. Okay, next favorite I actually have on my lids today on top of like a black liner and I just saw it in the store. I don't even know why I picked it up. I think because it was like um, buy one get one half off for Wet n Wild and I wanted a new Dollhouse Pink lipstick which is one of my all-time favorite lipsticks. So I saw this and I was like I'm just gonna throw it in the cart because it was 99 cents and it was 50 cents. Look at this gorgeous blue. Like tell me this isn't so freaking pretty. Um, fell in love so yeah 99 cents and it's a pretty big pencil and it's called sky blue wow how original next favorites are well is my um la viva juicy perfume sorry it looks like this and i absolutely love this of course i'm gonna spray it when i take it out oh my god it smells amazing um i actually have a rollerball of this that i'd show you but i don't know where it is i think it's in my bag lost i finished a complete bottle and i have a mini of this so um this is just a little hint hint okay for my 10,000 subscriber giveaway I am going to be giving away a little juicy couture kit I guess you could say that I paid for with my own money I'm not sponsored by juicy at all um but I feel like a lot of people want to give away makeup products and all that stuff and that's great but um this is one of my personal favorite things in the entire world and um just perfume in general and then this is my favorite perfume so um, I'm not going to tell you guys what's in the giveaway yet because I haven't filmed the video but hopefully it'll be up soon and it is to thank you guys so much for 10,000 subscribers so I'm including a big full size of this in that giveaway so keep an eye out for that. My next favorite is this Too Faced Lashgasm mascara and it just looks like this. This is actually a sample size that I got in package from Love Most Michelle. I think I talked about a lot of mascaras. I also talked about my fairy drops that I got the sample size and then I got the full one. Um, 
this has replaced every single mascara that I've ever tried in my entire life. Hands down, this is my favorite mascara of all time. It has a very, very thin um, wand. It just looks like this, so I don't know if you guys like these kind of wands. I personally do. Um, this is just amazing for every lash. It's very lengthening and it just looks amazing. It's not maybe the best for volume, but I really don't care. I'm more into length and volume. I know some people have preferences. I do, I like length more than volume. So this is my all time favorite mascara. I actually did just buy the full size. My next favorite is this, um, I love hair mask. I talk about so many on my channel, but this is one that I actually think is a great drugstore um, alternative to like uh, the macadamia, not a dupe for it, but just, I've seen a difference when I use this and if you guys want to see how much I like it okay there's a tiny bit left here but look at the actual tub completely completely empty like I scraped this bad boy clean like a hungry dog eating its food you know and like you see like little bits like on the edge and then they eat and eat it that's what I've been doing with this in the shower like I just try to get as much as possible so I think it's time for a new one and it's really cheap too this is like I want to say five dollars at CVS maybe six my next favorite is this Rimmel fix and perfect primer um this is actually oh zero zero one I got the one that um a bunch of people have been telling me about that's like clear and I do like it but I can't find it I'm really upset but this one I actually got on a whim because I wanted to try a new primer and um I just was kind of tired of spending so much money on primers. So this has like an orange tint to it and I was kind of grossed out at first, but I actually really, really like this and I think it's my favorite drugstore primer. Um, and it's definitely up there with just my favorite primers of all time. I think it evens out your skin tone. It's not like a tinted moisturizer. That's what, that was my fear. I was like, well, I could just wear a tinted moisturizer. It's not like a tinted moisturizer. It just balances your skin tone and like minimizes pores. I definitely find out, find that it does. So, um, Smooth skin minimizes pores. Next favorite is this, which will be my favorite liquid liner of the month, but also of ever until I find a new one that I love. And it is the Maybelline Master Precise. I saw this in Nicole Guerrero's video a long time ago. It just looks like this. Um, I'll swatch it for you. It doesn't really look that good swatch, but it's just the easiest liquid liner that I find for me that does not transfer my like to my lids. I have very, very oily lids. I have dry skin, but really oily lids for some reason. And every liner that I use somehow when I close my eyes transfers above my lids. And I hate that. I think it looks hideous. Um, my next favorite is actually from the Vox box that I got for free because anyone can get it for free. Uh, if you want to check out that video, I highly recommend it because you guys need to sign up. It's just amazing. And I still have people commenting my MyGlam videos being like, you should try Influencer Vox box. You'll be so much happier. I know, I did a video on it the next day. Highly recommend VoxBox, way over my glam, and um, it's free. So this is the Sheer Cover Concealer. Um, I don't know why I didn't say this like as soon as I press record on my camera. This is my favorite product of the month by like a landslide. This is my favorite concealer that I've ever <laughs> used in my life. This is in the color light medium. The reason I love it so much is because first of all, this side is very light, this side is medium. So you can cover up blemishes with the darker color and you can brighten underneath your eyes with the lighter color, which I think is great. It's like two in one. I'll go a little closer so you guys can see. It is not a thick concealer and that's why I love it. It is so smooth, so creamy, like you just need a tiny, tiny bit and it goes such a long way. It covers up flawlessly and um, if I could wear this over my face, like just this as foundation, I probably would. So I definitely recommend this. My next favorite is actually the Personal Microderm PMD. I have no problem telling you guys certain things that are sent to me for free. So this was sent to me for free to review. Um, I don't have to review it. I don't have to talk about it. Um, but I will be doing a review on this and I really, really like it. I have seen a big difference. I was very scared to use it at first because I did hear from some people that it hurt. I just really, really do see a difference and I love the fact that it can just extract um, your, the impurities from your skin. So I actually will be doing a review on this and a giveaway actually. So if you guys are interested, um, definitely stay tuned for that video. Um, but I've been trying it out, that's why I'm gonna review it soon. My next favorite is, um, this hard candy blush that I found in my drawer. I don't even know when I got this, but it's in Living Doll, and it's just such a pretty light pink color, and it has this like hint of um, yellow in it. It's like the baked um, colors. Um, I just absolutely, absolutely love this. This is what it looks like swatched. It's like a highlighter and a blush in one. So next awesome. favorite I have is this Ol Henriksen Feel the Difference mask. <laughs> That's what it's called. And um, I have a review on the Ol Henriksen Feel the Difference um, 
line, I think. Is that what it's called? I don't even know what it's called. But it's this pink line, and it's like anti-aging and stuff. Stuff. Everything on this line smells delicious. Um, this is how much I've used, as you guys can see. I'm almost done with it. It's one of those face masks you put on, and I can't even spend more than like five minutes with it on because it actually tingles so much but it feels so good afterwards and your skin feels so smooth and you'll look in the mirror and like I'm not even kidding guys you can feel and see a difference using this one time so um I definitely think that's points for Mr. Ole here um is that his name Ole Ole I don't know Mr. Henriksen okay my next favorite is my NARS pressed powder in Mountain um I finally hit pan on it as you guys can see Every time I wear this, people, somebody, even a random stranger once in the elevator, I kid you not, asks me like, what are you wearing? And it's just that phrase of like, your skin is glowing or you look so bronze. It's like, this gives you the perfect sun-kissed bronze look. And I actually heard about this from um, It's Blonde E and Emmy Gal XO here on YouTube. XOXO and um, I bought it and I hauled it and I talked about it a few times but I finally hit pan so I just decided this deserves to be in a favorites video. I don't use it every day as like a finishing powder at all. What I do is I use this actually just over concealer. I've been wearing this fully as like um, I, is it foundation? I don't even know if it's foundation but all I've been wearing recently is just this over concealer and this is just amazing that's how good it is so i highly recommend the nars press powder in my last and final favorite of the month and my favorite product of all time i think in the world that i've ever used for my skin um it's not makeup it is skincare i actually was talking about in one of my hauls if you guys remember if you watched it about I have really dry skin and i just need something that helps and i do love cetaphil but i just haven't found anything that's like a really hydrating hydrating like I can feel the difference in my skin in the morning kind of cream slash lotion and I talked about it in my last video and then a lot of you guys recommended Clinique and you recommended a bunch of different moisturizers and this one I've been really liking too the dramatically different one but a few of you said the same one and I was like if my subscribers are telling me this it's got to be good so I took your guys's advice um, and I picked this up and I have been obsessed it is the Clinique Moisture Surge Intense Skin Fortifying Hydrator Gel Cream Hydratant Fortifant okay very dry to dry combination very dry I got mine in the very dry one this is amazing there are no words besides absolutely amazing and I'm gonna save I'm gonna shut my mouth and I'm gonna do a full review on this I don't even I'm not even gonna ask you guys one review I'm gonna do a review on this just so if anyone just watches all my videos even if they're not interested in the products they will pick this up if they have dry skin this is a lifesaver I cannot say anything besides positive things about this it smells pretty good it doesn't smell delicious but um you get a lot and it was only $30 and I know you might be like only 30 Nicole really um or was it 34 or was it 40 I'm not sure I'll annotate right here but still it's between 30 and 40 and I definitely think it's worth every single penny you're getting a lot of this every day for the past two weeks morning and night and I'm not even halfway through um, I think it'll last a long time comment below if you did recommend this to me or if you have it and love it or if you've been thinking about getting it I cannot say anything besides this is amazing I almost forgot my new favorite which is this which is my candy Johnson um, bag that she designed by Emotion Handbags. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this bag. It just looks like this, if you guys can um, see. The company Emotion, so I will link them down below. You should definitely check them out, and I'm not sponsored by Candy or Emotion. Um, I did not get this for free, I paid for it with my own money, and I think it's well worth it. If you don't it. know, Candy Johnson did design this purse by herself, so I think it's awesome because not only is it um, just buying a purse that she designed herself, like a YouTuber or whatever, but also because it's an amazing, amazing purse. I literally can fit my entire life in here. I don't know if you guys are one of those people that um, carries a ton of stuff in their purse or you go out with a little clutch. I am the former. I go out with literally everything I can think of in a bag. All my friends hate me for it. They think that's so annoying. But anyway, so this is what the bag looks like. It is so big and so amazing. It is my new baby and it was I think $80 plus shipping but then with the discount that Candy gives you which she put on her blog um, it was like it ended up being like $72 or something so um, it, it's a little bit pricey but I invested in it and it's definitely well worn. It has all these front pockets. Um, 
but I'm not gonna go through what's in my purse but if you see an update what's in my purse comment below I don't know why you guys would want to see what's in here there's really nothing interesting however people tell me to vlog my everyday life which is probably dreadfully boring so I don't know why people would want to see that but I like watching people's what's in my purse videos as well as vlogs so yeah comment okay below. anyway guys those are my May favorites and thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye